My name's Susie Smith, and I'm one of the eight artists that made a diorama for the film and exhibition Eight Rooms. I'm an interdisciplinary artist that works a lot with printmaking and paper. Uh, I often work with systems and transformation, and my work also often takes the form of multiples. I've always had an interest in making things with my hands from a very young age. And in particular, I have an interest in print and paper um, because I, at its root, I really like the idea of making multiples instead of one precious piece of art. My room is Construction Paper Dreams. And with that room, I was really inspired by the brief where uh, the character had to have a reason to leave the room. So I wanted to have the room be made up of very simple materials, but that Sarah could use those to create her own escape or create her way to leave the room. In my room, I got really interested in, went down kind of like a rabbit hole of all these different people on YouTube that made dioramas, whether that's for like, gaming or replicas and I really liked how um, people were just using like found objects around their home to like create these dioramas so it was something that I just became really interested in. So for the floors I made the floors with uh, coffee stir sticks and uh, stained them with instant coffee and for the walls I had uh, styrofoam that I would just like cut into or press into to create texture. And then as far as theme wise, I was really interested in playing with paper and very like simple materials that could be used to create the set. So I used 3D modeling to create a pattern for a folded paper, set of paper stairs and then also used crumpled paper as a cloud animation in the sky that you see through the doorway at the top. And yeah, just generally, I really liked the idea of Sarah, the character in this, having her own agency for, for creating her kind of like uh, escape from the room. Well, even from the beginning with this project, we were asked to create a diorama and then we didn't know what the story was gonna be. So there was um, a lot, a big element of surprise in it and it was really exciting to see how Anita interpreted it and, and kind of fit them all together. It was really, really cool. It was really great getting to work with all the different artists. I'm really inspired by each one of them. And uh, just especially during the pandemic, it was really nice to have this way to stay connected. Uh, ironic that we were all like creating, we were kind of like stuck in our rooms or in our own spaces during the pandemic, but then we were like creating these like imagined uh, rooms as well. Yeah, thank you to all the other artists for being so generous during the process. Thanks for, to Diana and Anita for pulling me into the project and for being really supportive um, for the whole thing.